The Animal Legal Defense Fund had our busiest and most successful year to date, and it's all thanks to your support. Our litigation team filed numerous lawsuits against animal attractions, winning freedom for Ricky the Bear, with cases still pending to free Lolita the Orca, Candy the Chimpanzee, Lucky the Elephant, and Tony the Tiger from their horrific conditions of their captivity. In 2015, the Animal Legal Defense Fund led the successful battle to overturn Idaho's unconstitutional ag-gag law, which made it illegal to document animal cruelty in factory farms. This historic decision will have a ripple effect on similar laws in other states as well. In total, ALDF's litigation team has worked on 159 separate legal matters in 2015. This year, the Animal Legal Defense Fund launched an undercover investigations team which exposed animal welfare, health, and labor violations at a Tyson Foods chicken slaughtering plant in Texas. As a result, ALDF filed four separate legal actions and provided this evidence to federal and state agencies. ALDF's criminal justice team provides free legal assistance and training for prosecutors and law enforcement agencies to ensure that anti-cruelty statutes are vigorously enforced. We also work with legislators to enact more stringent anti-cruelty laws, and in 2015 alone, ALDF responded to more than 125 separate requests for assistance to prosecutors, law enforcement, and animal care officers. ALDF also partnered with the Association of Prosecuting Attorneys to sponsor a three-day training for prosecutors, police, and animal care officers on how to prosecute animal cruelty cases. And we designed and funded a groundbreaking pilot program providing for a designated state animal cruelty prosecutor in Oregon. This position focuses solely on animal cruelty cases and it racked up significant victories for animals this year, including shutting down a puppy mill that resulted in 43 separate counts of felony animal neglect. ALDF fought for justice for Tiger, a cat brutally killed with a bow and arrow by veterinarian Kristen Lindsay. We accumulated more than 125,000 signatures urging the Austin County District Attorney to prosecute Lindsay. And after ALDF filed a complaint and testified at its hearing, the Texas Board of Veterinary Medical Examiners revoked Lindsay's veterinary license, concluding that she had violated its rules of ethics. Our legislative team introduces and supports key legislation to strengthen animal laws and fights legislation that would harm animals. In 2015, we successfully lobbied for positive legislation in California, Texas, San Francisco, and Clark County, Nevada. And we successfully defeated harmful legislation in Arizona, Colorado, Washington, Hawaii, Indiana, Texas, and California. ALDF also helped ensure that SeaWorld San Diego's proposed expansion of its Shamu tank is subject to strict conditions that prohibit the amusement park from breeding or otherwise acquiring any additional orcas for the San Diego Park. ALDF is also advancing the study of animal law through our network of student ALDF chapters at law schools throughout the country. In 2015, 14 law schools added student chapters of ALDF, bringing us to a grand total of more than 200 chapters in law schools throughout the nation. ALDF's life-saving legal work has garnered support from celebrities like James Cromwell and Elaine Hendricks. But your support is the most important of all. ALDF doesn't get corporate or government funding, and more than 85% of our budget comes from individual supporters like you. The law is our most powerful tool for creating real change for animals, and ALDF is the animal's legal advocate in courtrooms and legislatures nationwide. Please help us win more legal victories for animals in 2016 by supporting our work. Thank you.